Welcome to our channel. Today, we delve into the incredible power of nature's giant waves. With devastating tsunamis hitting coastlines around the world in recent history, we've all witnessed the immense power of these natural disasters. But have you ever wondered just how massive tsunamis can actually become? Today, we dive deep into the science behind tsunamis and explore their astonishing potential size. Tsunamis, often referred to as killer waves, are created by two main phenomena, underwater explosions, such as earthquakes or volcanic eruptions, and the impact of large volumes of material hitting the water, like meteorites or landslides. At the heart of a tsunami is the principle of water displacement. When a powerful force displaces water, it sends shockwaves racing off in all directions. The strength of the initial force and the distance the water travels determine the size of the resulting tsunami, also known as a seismic sea wave. Let's look at some real-life examples of tsunami heights that have left an indelible mark on history. The Indian Ocean tsunami of 2004, triggered by a 9.1 magnitude earthquake, reached staggering heights of 30 meters, 98 feet. To put that in perspective, it's roughly as tall as 17 adults stacked on top of each other. This devastating wave, generated by a force greater than all the explosives used in World War II combined, stands as a somber reminder of the destructive potential of tsunamis. Moving forward to 2011, the tsunami that struck Japan, following a similarly sized earthquake, produced a wave towering at 40.5 meters, 133 feet to visualize. That's just a few meters shy of the iconic Statue of Liberty. While these examples are awe-inspiring, we're only scratching the surface of potential tsunami sizes. Enter the realm of mega tsunamis, a category of tsunami caused by massive material slides or falls into the water rather than earthquakes. One tragic instance is the Vajon Dam disaster in 1963, where a massive landslide into a dammed reservoir gave rise to a wave that reached a stunning 250 meters, 820 feet in height. Imagine the force of 260 million cubic meters of earth and rock disappearing into the reservoir in less than a minute, creating a devastating wave that forever changed the landscape. But hold on, we're about to delve into even greater magnitudes. In Lituya Bay, Alaska, 1958, a powerful landslide unleashed a terrorizing wave that reached an astonishing peak of 525 meters, 1,722 feet, towering almost 100 meters above the tip of the Empire State Building. And if you think that's mind-boggling, consider the Hawaiian island of Molokai around 1.5 million years ago. A volcano's landslide plunged into the ocean, generating a tsunami wave estimated to be a staggering 600 meters. 1,968 feet, high, completely submerging the island. Now, brace yourself for a journey into Earth's ancient past. Around 66 million years ago, an asteroid impact, more powerful than 2 million nuclear bombs, triggered a wave estimated to be a colossal 5 kilometers, 3.1 miles, high. To put it into perspective, that's higher than most mountains on our planet. This catastrophic event, which spelled doom for the dinosaurs, reshaped the face of our planet and serves as a testament to the unfathomable power of nature's forces. So, how did tsunamis travel across oceans and wreak havoc on distant shores? Tsunamis can move at speeds of up to 500 miles per hour, 800 kilometers per hour, in the open ocean, crossing vast distances in a day or less. In the open ocean, a tsunami may appear as a seemingly innocuous wave, sometimes less than a foot in height. However, beneath the surface, a powerful shock wave of energy propels it forward, similar to the speed of a commercial jet. As a tsunami approaches shallower waters near the coast, its speed decreases, but its energy remains formidable. The top of the wave moves faster than the bottom, resulting in a dramatic rise in sea level. 
the sheer energy of tsunamis can have catastrophic consequences. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami stands as one of the most devastating in recorded history, claiming over 150, 1,000 lives and leaving a trail of destruction across 11 countries. While the Pacific Ocean remains a hotspot for tsunamis, other regions, like the Caribbean and Mediterranean seas, as well as the Indian and Atlantic Oceans, have all witnessed the wrath of these waves. Tsunami warning systems, like the tsunami warning system in the Pacific, play a vital role in monitoring and predicting tsunamis. With advances in technology, scientists can now anticipate these deadly events, providing valuable time for evacuation. For those living in tsunami-prone areas, awareness and preparedness are crucial. If you experience a strong earthquake, do not wait for an official warning. If you notice a rapid rise or fall in the water level, it's a telltale sign of an approaching tsunami head for higher ground immediately. Remember that tsunamis often come in waves, and the first wave may not be the most dangerous. Stay vigilant until you receive the all-clear signal from authorities. As we unravel the mysteries of tsunamis and their immense power, we're reminded of nature's incredible ability to shape our world. The forces that drive these colossal waves stand as a testament to the beauty and danger that coexist in our planet's dynamic landscape. Please do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.